So you don't have any experience in cybersecurity, but you heard about cybersecurity and it sounds like a fun job and it is. Salaries are quite high and you can also work from home so you can combine your passion for problem solving, fighting crimes while also getting paid high for it. The problem is every cybersecurity job is asking people for five, maybe even 10 years of experience. They're asking for a bunch of certifications and a bunch of degrees. In this video, I will break down to you what I call the three building blocks to getting a job into cybersecurity in a easy and digestible manner. I'll give you an action plan that you can follow once you watch this video and it will help you to get your first job in cybersecurity. There are basically three building blocks into getting a job into cybersecurity in order of importance. The first one is experience, the second one is certifications, and the third one is degree. If you watch uh, to the end of the video, I'll give you a fourth one, a bonus building block, which might make the entire process a lot faster. The first building block, experience. Experience is key it doesn't matter how many certifications or degrees you have if you have the right experience you will get the job why experience is so important it's because when someone hire you as a cyber security professional you will be the custodian you will be the person who is responsible for protecting the most valuable asset for an organization so if it's a bank you're literally protecting people's money if it's a government you're protecting uh, national security you're protecting people's identities from being stolen you're literally fighting cyber crimes you are the person standing between the organization and hackers who have nothing to do but to try to break into your organization so we really need someone with a lot of experience we need someone to hit the ground running and we want someone to know what they are doing the problem is you can't get a job without experience and you can't get an experience without a job so it's a catch-22 so what do you do I've got a few suggestions for you so if you're a student and you're working on a degree look for internships ask companies if they're willing to give you a um, they call them a vacation role or an internship or work experience role somewhere where you can shadow someone and hopefully learn something and you can put that in your CV. If you are someone who are working on an unrelated field, for example, if you're an accountant or you're a marketer, or even if you work in any type of customer service role, like a call center, for example, whilst your experience may not be a cybersecurity experience, but you have some of the skills that we need. So you probably have some problem solving skills. And I think the most important one is you have customer service skills. So you can talk to customers, you can talk to stakeholders, people, People think that cybersecurity professional is someone who is constantly behind a black screen and we're constantly coding and yes that is part of the job but also a huge part of the job is we actually talk to people we need to talk to senior managers we need to talk to employees we need to talk to end users and even once we do a penetration test or once we perform something like a digital forensic we actually need to create a report and that report can be presented to sometimes the board of directors so your customer experience and your maturity and how you handle be people is a valuable experience that you need to put in your CV. The other thing is if you're someone who is working in IT but not in cybersecurity, well the good news is a lot of what you do is transferable. For example, if you've been resetting passwords, if you have been installing patches, all of this experience or maybe even configuring networks or firewalls, this may not be directly cybersecurity experience but it's some of the skills that we need. So don't underestimate your current skills. Write them down in a very nice digestible manner in your CV and when you apply for a job, this can count as an experience. Before we jump into the second building block, a little story about me. The year was 2009 and I was trying to break into cybersecurity. So I had the fortune of going to a conference where I met someone who was a huge name in cybersecurity. Actually, he still is quite famous. And I asked him, so what do I do to break into cybersecurity? So he gave me this analogy where he said to be a real cybersecurity professional, I'm quoting him directly, he said to be a real cybersecurity professional, you need to know essentially everything about networking, about operating systems, about web applications, and even about mobile applications. So he said, I need to be a subject matter expert in all these areas before I even think of moving into cybersecurity. Because in his logic, he said, well, how can you protect something you don't understand? And at the time, this made sense. So I went on and I spent the next few years basically being all over the place. I worked as a network engineer and I worked as a web developer and I did all of that stuff. Whilst these things are nice to know, I 
don't necessarily agree with that now that I have the hindsight and nearly two decades of experience. That time that I spent learning about web applications and networking and all of that could have been spent learning about cybersecurity. I, my time was better off spent doing penetration testing, learning about digital forensics, learning about GRC or IT audit, risk management, all of these things. Yes, you need to know networking and web servers and all of that, but you don't really need to be an expert in those areas. If you want to be an expert in networking, you will spend a lifetime dedicated to becoming an expert in networking. You cannot become an expert in networking, operating systems, web applications, mobile apps, all of this, whilst on top of that being a security expert. This just doesn't happen. So learn from my mistake. Um, have a little bit of background about these areas, but start right away with cybersecurity experience. All right, the second building block is certifications. Certifications is one of those topics that people tend to disagree on. So you'll hear people saying things like certifications are useless and then you'll hear people saying things like certifications are everything you don't need a degree you don't need an experience the certificate will guarantee a job both of those people are wrong dead wrong so certifications are not really useless if you've been watching my videos for some time you know that I'm a big believer in certifications that have a lab component to them so something something like OSCP uh, something like ELAN security certification or even certifications that come with a training uh, course attached to them like any sense GX certification that comes usually with a five days training and a lab component to it. These certifications are really good because you learn something theoretical but also you get to apply it and you know when you do something hands-on you can't forget it and it's a really great way to use it as a building block for your skills. For example if your goal is to become a penetration tester well how do you become a penetration tester? You need to learn all the things that a penetration tester do and how would you do that? Well you can just learn the topic randomly or you can pursue a certification career path where it gives you that structure that way of structuring things for you and learning topics one after the other and then you get to test your knowledge with a certification in the video description below I'll leave few videos that I've created for each career path so for penetration testing for a security analyst for GRC I'll leave the links down below so which certification should you pursue if you're trying to break into cybersecurity I think the first one that you need to pursue is CompTIA security plus this can serve as your foundation you can skip it if you want to but if you know nothing about security i think security plus is a great start it will give you an introduction and definitions for all the areas of cyber security and from there then you can specialize into certain areas like digital forensics or penetration testing and before you ask me this question no you do not need to do anything before security plus you don't need to do a ccna you don't need to do network plus you can go straight away to security plus in the topics of security plus all the information you need are in the book the third building block is a degree and I left it towards the end because it may be the least important one but it is important again it's one of those things where people tend to disagree so I'll give you the truth and I'll give you the simplest answer is some companies will never hire you if you don't have a degree yes it's unfair and I know the degree may not help you in performing the job but it is what it is this is the world that we live in so some companies will never hire you without a degree do not listen to youtubers and other tiktokers who tell you that you don't need a degree sure in some instances you don't but a lot of companies still ask you for a degree now the question is which degree should you do so this depends on who you are so if you are a student you've just finished high school I strongly recommend you do a degree in cybersecurity you do not need to do a degree in computer science or IT or any of that stuff a degree in cybersecurity will give you all the background that you need and you can tick a box from that point of view if you are someone who already is working and you have a degree in something unrelated like an accounting marketing, uh, business, art, whatever, then you don't need to do a degree. Like that degree can meet the requirement of the hiring manager. So just the fact that they went to university is enough. I know it's not ideal, but it is what it is. So if you have a degree in something unrelated, you have the choice. You can do a master's degree in cybersecurity. You can do an undergraduate degree in cybersecurity. I recommend that you do it online after hours so you don't invest too much. That's optional. You can do it. You don't have to. If it's me, I would personally not do it I would spend my time on certifications but if you want that structure some people cannot just study for one certification after the other they prefer the structure of a degree they like to go to a classroom do homework do project there is nothing wrong with that it's actually a great way to learn so it depends on the kind of person that you are but if you have another degree just know that you may meet the requirement of the hiring manager 
if you've watched until this point in this video then you reach the bonus point the bonus building block which is the fourth building block in my opinion it's optional uh, lots of people skip that uh, building block but I strongly recommend that you pay attention to it it's networking it can make the entire process a lot faster networking is start talking to people who already work in cybersecurity if you're watching this video so you probably have been searching on how to get into cybersecurity this is great this is the first step the second step I'd say look into your local area uh, look what companies uh, are around you start speaking with people who work in cybersecurity. look through LinkedIn search for people who work in the companies you want to work work at send them a friend request ask them questions people are always willing to help let them know tell them that you are interested in cybersecurity. you want to change careers get their advice get their suggestion and you never know they may hire you this may become a friendship when they're looking for someone they already know you they trust you they can give you a chance many people ignore this they focus on certifications and degree which is absolutely fantastic it's absolutely necessary but don't underestimate the power of networking the best jobs that I've had in my career were through networking were through professional relationships that I've built with clients with people so train yourself to be more presentable train yourself to network and ask people for questions with these four building blocks you should have a concrete plan I want you to get a pen and paper and write down an action plan tell me what your plan is in terms of experience how are you gonna get experience so write a list of bullets points how are you gonna get certifications which career path this is what I did I had a paper where I wrote down everything I needed and I put it on uh, on top of my bed in my bedroom so I can see it every day write down the detailed plan and hold yourself accountable the other thing I want you to do is I have a video about the seven mistakes that people make when they're trying to get into cyber security this video might be what's stopping you between getting your first role in cyber security there are common mistakes people make them and I would like you not to make them so please watch that video